Welcome to Redneck Outfitters, where the labor's cheap and the advice is free. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, Redneck Outfitters 1 and the 6368 Bug Project. Uh, it's been a pretty productive day. Uh, I got the inside painted up with the silver. Uh, I decided to go with silver, probably with the black seats, black uh, steering wheel, black padded dash. Yeah, I think it'll set it off pretty good. Uh, the outside still kind of up, up in the air. Uh, I might just go ahead and paint it silver too. Uh, you know, years ago I was a uh, Oakland Raiders fan, so silver and black is is pretty cool to me. But uh, as you can see, there's some uh, primer drying. Uh, what else I've been doing today? I put a little more bondo on that back corner, a little bit more on this front, try to get that smoothed out a little bit. And I got pictures of that for you. Uh, I got pictures of the interior for you, but other than that, I've just been slowly working my way, trying to take out the uh, deficiencies, if you will, uh, up on the roof. I'm just going from panel to panel, kind of working my way around, trying not to get into the wet uh, primer, just trying to clear everything off. I'm moving up on the, uh, the grits on... Uh, the sandpaper so we're slowly getting there to where it's going to be getting close to painting time uh, I still got a long ways to go but uh, anyway that's what we had going on today uh, hope you enjoy the pictures enjoy the video um, if you like subscribe hang around with us see how this thing turns out and uh, you know, you're always welcome to tune in, uh, welcome to comment if you like. Uh, I don't have a problem with that. I like interacting with people, so, you know, it's not perfect. I know that. It's never going to be perfect because I don't have the time, I don't have the money, so it's going to be, but it's going to be damn nice when I get done with it. I really believe so. So, anyway, stay tuned. We'll have more for you. Uh, like I said, the interior is getting to the point where we're getting ready to put some uh, deadening foiler or whatever you want to put in there. and Maybe uh, not too far off, put this body back on this chassis. So stick with us. We'll have more. Thanks for hanging around. This is a look at the rear end where I had to put a little bondo on that corner. Uh, it's shaping up pretty good. Uh, this is a look at the interior. That's silver. Uh, I don't know where that kind of greenish shade is coming from. It's probably coming off of the garage door or the lights or something in there. But it is actually silver. It's not that green color. Although that green color kind of looks cool. <laughs> kind of an olive. But uh, of course 90% of this is going to be covered up. You know, with door panels and headliner and carpet and what have you. But I uh, wanted to, to look nice, you know, whatever does show. This is the front end that had the crack right in the middle. And uh, it's smoothing out pretty nice, too. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do any more to it or not. Uh, I could probably put a little body filler on it when it goes to paint, but... Uh, that's the trunk area. Of course, it's a little dusty right now from all the work today. And these are the interior photos again. That's all silver. It's not the 
kind of greenish tint there. I don't know what the hell's going on, but uh, that was just after the first coat. I had a little smoothing out to do before I did any more coats and put a clear coat over it. But uh, it's coming out pretty nice. And uh, I think once you get the door panels and trim and everything else in there, it's it's really going to look pretty sharp. So that's the progress for today.